What's going on guys? Welcome to another GS presentation of an online ranked NFL Madden 12 match. Today we're meeting a request and um, I had somebody leave in the comments that he wanted me to play with the Dolphins without Brandon Marshall, Reggie Bush, and Jake Long. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I gotta get rid of my best offensive lineman, my best running back, and my best receiver. But do I still think I can win? Absolutely. As you guys know, I love playing with the Dolphins. They're I would say probably uh, my second uh, favorite team to use in Madden outside of the Redskins. And um, I'm going against uh, somebody who goes ahead and picks the Broncos. So I'm going against a defensive minded team. And I'm like, damn, you know, he's got a pretty good dominant defense considering I don't have Bush. And I don't think that's a big loss because I, I feel like Steve Slayton is, is a good substitute for uh, Reggie Bush. But if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know my favorite receiver in Madden 12 has always been Brandon Marshall. I don't know why, but whenever I play with him, he seems to do things that Larry Fitzgerald or Calvin Johnson or Andre Johnson or all those other Johnsons just don't do. For whatever reason, Brandon Marshall just always does great for me more than any receiver ever. <laughs> and uh, me not being able to use him really, really, really sucks. Um, and not having Jake Long, that hurts too, because Jake Long, is he's an absolute monster running to that side. He's an anchor. He's going to hold you down. And um, But, you know, we try to meet the challenge. And he also said that there's no way that I can win this challenge. So as you guys uh, see, I matched up, and I matched up pretty um, soon. So I'm figuring he's somewhere around my skill level because uh, I didn't have to search for between, you know, 400, 500 skill points. So I, I got matched up pretty quick. First drop, as you can see, he's pretty good, doing pretty good until he runs out of the pocket. I'm sorry, son, but no soup for you. We end up getting an interception. We cut that drive short. And on our very first possession, our first play, we go to Fasano. That's right. Um, you made me take all those guys up, but you ain't make me take out Fasano. And Fasano is obviously going to be my number one go-to guy on this offense. Uh, good height, good hands, good catching traffic. So I'm definitely looking to utilize him. He's now my offensive star. And uh, Matt Moore, as you can see, keep count, man. He starts throwing darts. And this is the second time um, this has ever happened to me in, in Madden uh, 12 this year. I'll go ahead and mention what it is that I've done that is so special to me um, during this game. But I'll go ahead and um, I'll mention that later. Um, as you can see, man, first drive, I'm, I'm coming out the gates pretty good. You know, Matt Moore is putting the ball on target. Uh, right here, second and 12, man, we find nobody we end up getting sacked. Right here, third and 18, we get the comeback row and Fasano, oh, beautiful throw, threading the needle like Tweety Bird's grandmother making some socks. Threading the needle beautifully right there, and we end up getting a touchdown on third and 18, which was huge. So Matt Moore pretty much put the ball on point, and Fasano um, coming up big right there in the first uh, drive. Um, as you can see, I had to call a timeout, man, because he was, uh, I picked the bad defense, and he kept calling no huddle. So, you know, I'm not going to let that, you know, fly. I'm not going to try and adjust. I'm just going to call a timeout and pick a better defense. That way he's not eating me up on a no huddle. Um, he, he has a good mixture of running the ball between, like, oh, man, we got a strip, but he ends up recovering it. But his offensive scheme is definitely, you know, well balanced between throwing and running right there. Tim Tebow throws a touchdown pass. But I'm, I'm confident that I can stop him as long as I can stop the run because I want Tim Tebow to throw the ball. Right there running to the left, Jake Long probably would have done a little better blocking. We end up losing five, but we end up picking the first down. A huge, huge play to best outside on the right right there. Um, oh, look at Matt Moore. I can run too, Tebow. You ain't the only one who can run. We end up doing a Michael Vick impression, and we pick up 11 yards in that game right there. Right here, we go back to Slayton, who just um, barrels in with, uh, to within the five-yard line. Then right there, we end up scoring a touchdown. So we're up 14-7, and I'm definitely... You know, confident. You know, I, I figure I'm, I might have some troubles because their defense is really, really good. But with Tim Tebow starting, I need—I just need to put him in position where he can throw the ball. Like right here, at 39, he ends up doing a bad throw, and we stop him. Right here, at fourth and nine, we we play the Ricky Martin defense, that fag D. But damn, it doesn't work, man. I couldn't believe I couldn't stop him right there. I'm a little frustrated. That right there would have been huge. Um, so we come out in a diamond. Wait, wait, wait! The booth challenge it, and it is overturned. Right now, I'm like, yes. This is the opportunity we need. And Matt Moore throws another dart to uh, stay in right there. You guys know how I, how I like to keep it nice and short with them screens and them blues and them short yellows. So we score. We're up 21-7 and we get ball at halftime. So whoever asks this challenge to say there's no way I could win, it looks like I'm going to do it. It looks like it's doing good so far. But 
ah, you know, guys, you know, uh, my defense really isn't that good. I tried really, really hard sometimes right there. Fourth down, he ends up getting it. Ah, oh, man, and right before halftime, he ends up just going huge over the top and scoring. And, and I'm raging just a little bit. You know, I'm a little frustrated right there. I couldn't believe I gave that up. I feel like me getting ball with uh, two point, with two touchdown lead, I feel like I would have put the game away if I scored again. Um, you guys know the push kick. Whenever somebody kicks and they get it, you know they go to Gunas back. But what happens when they try it and you receive it? You know what you say? I'm subscribed to Monster Chappie. That is not going to work, my friend. He has a nice little tutorial that has shown me how to stop that. So we end up recovering. I knew that was coming. I mean, you can just tell. So um, we still got a seven-point lead, though, which I feel like it should be 14. But, you know, Matt Moore is doing good, um, you know, putting the ball on target. I'm mixing up between my runs and, and, and uh, throws. I'm doing, you know, pretty uh, balanced offense right here. Really wish I had uh, Brandon Marshall in situations like this, man. This uh, nice little fade route I would have been able to hit him with. But without having him, you know, I still got to keep it short. Look at Matt Moore, 13 for 13. So far, this man is perfect. This, there it is again, 13 for 13. I've not had an incompletion yet this game. Uh, right here, as you can see, I'm just basically killing the clock. I do not mind kicking a field goal here, and I just basically play it safe. Um, I don't mind kicking a field goal going up two scores, plus I waste the majority of the third quarter. So I'm happy with that. You know, I wasted five minutes. Um, there's nothing he can do right now to uh, gain the lead right now, even if he does score. So I'm satisfied with killing five minutes off the clock and um, and uh, scoring. So, you know, I'm perfectly fine with the way that played out. So I'm up 10 points and, you know, uh, he's trying to run the ball, but we're doing a pretty good job at stuffing that. So forcing Tim Tebow to throw, and you guys know the accuracy really is it's just not good. You know, there's another example there. Fourth and nine, if we get a stop here, and we do, we end up sacking him. 14 completed passes in a row. That is the second time I've ever finished a game with 100% uh, completion percentage. The first time I've ever done it was with Tom Brady. I believe I was like 23 for 23 or something like that. So Matt Moore ends up uh, throwing another touchdown right here. So he finishes the game 100% perfect right there. And, man, let me tell you. I'm so excited. That's my, my cold roll, no blanket thing right there. Uh, he ends up offering me a friendly quit. I'm like, what is that? I'm not like, accepting no friendly quit. You're about to be out your mind. <laughs> but he ends up quitting. And um, I'm like, oh, I hope he didn't hit me with no glitch or nothing like that. So um, I go check out level. I, w I wonder what level he is considering um, I feel like he knew what he was doing. But uh, I don't think he was in my school level. So I was curious to see where he was. He was a level 9. So, you know, I beat a level 9, which to me is pretty good. You know, so I beat a level 9 with the Dolphins, without Brandon Marshall, without Reggie Bush, without Jake Long. And I did it. You said I wasn't going to do it. I did it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe because I upload 2K and Madden daily. Give it to me, baby.